Hello everybody. I am so excited today because I am doing, oh I'm trying out a new product and I won't call it a test pour because this product has been tested by so many cool artists and it's um, proven to be amazing and I saw the artworks so I can't wait to get started. Now, um, the brand of pigments that I am testing today um, is called Auntie Sue and that's not Auntie Sue <laughs> I like to call it Auntie Sue but it's Artie Sue you see that and the um, and it's created by a lady called Susan I just can't remember the last name but I'll get I'll get that to you because I'll put all the information in the description box so you can see um, but you know anyone with the name Susan it's got to be awesome right wink wink um, so I met Susan through my Facebook group um, where she posted a couple of her art pieces and uh, as we do and I had no idea that she actually used her own pigments to create those stunning pieces um, as she never really pushed to advertise her business and I accidentally found out um, when another artist um, mentioned her products. So I immediately jumped onto her site to see for myself and uh, um, I could see a lot of beautiful, beautiful colours and um, as you know I don't if you watched any of my videos, my past videos, I don't promote any um, any products, uh, but I have been looking to to really try a, a good one and be you know loyal to that product because you know there are so many out there and are very they're very expensive you know so this one I believe is worth promoting. Look at that color. It's just so beautiful. So anyhow, these are epoxy pigments. Okay, so they're not water soluble. They can't be used for acrylic pouring. This is for resin. And um, I believe the white is super special as creates cells that we always look for. And um, I think that's enough talking about this. Let's get cracking. And what's this? So I've got a royal purple, a snow white, a cherry. Ooh, yummy cherry. And a thalo turquoise. Wow, this one should be awesome. So anyhow, I get cleaned up. I've got everything ready. All I have to do is mix my resin and get cracking. Okie dokie, so I'm ready to get started. I've got all my paints lined up and I've got my resin mixed. So I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to try something because I don't know these pigments. Um, I'm, I need to do a little test as to how I can mix them. Um, usually I just put the tint, the tints or the, you know, inks or whatever, acrylic paints straight into my little cup or big cup, whatever, and, um, and then pour resin over it. But this is a different pigment and I'm not sure. So I'm us using phthalo turquoise. I'm not sure how much I need to put in there. See? So I've got to test it out a little bit. So I'm going to go straight with this one, straight into this full cup and see how they mix. And wow, oh, that's really cool. And it's good to know that you can do that. So you don't have to mix it in a small amount first. And then, wow, that's already pretty. You've seen how much I put in there? It was a tiny little bit. And look at that. 
So if you want more, you just add a little bit more to make it a bit thicker because you can put up to 10% of your paint in clear resin. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Okay, so that's that one. I'll put it away. That was the Thalo Turquoise. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I've got my Royal Blue. I'm going to, there's, there's plenty over in the actual cap, so use that up. So you see how much I'm using? Just that much. Tiny little bit. Put it in here. Wow, and that is pretty strong. Look at that. So this is not even half a cup. It's about, oh, a third of a cup. And look how thick and... I mean, look how nice and um, strong that color is. So I will add a little bit more of the resin in there. This is only a small piece. I only need a little bit of resin. Waste not, want not. And everybody knows I don't like wasting things. Oh, it mixes so beautifully. Gorgeous, look at that. So this one is a royal blue. The, the name of the pigment is a royal blue. But it looks a bit like a, like a purple. In layman's terms. So that's that one. Put this one away so I don't get them mixed up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I've got my cherry and oh this one is quite thick. Can you imagine this is um, a 50 gram, is it grams or mils? What does it say? No, 50 gram tub and if you're only using that tiny little bit, how long this is going to last? I mean go on the website and check out the prices and you'll see and just do your calculations and see how so I could leave it at that this is quite transparent at this stage or I can add some more which I will just add a little bit more of this um, resin to top it up and I'm going to get another one because I don't want to get my resin in there so I'm just going to get about that much because I want that red to be quite strong and this one is actually really thick I'm just trying to pick it up okay so that much is going in scrape it on the side wow how gorgeous is that and then give it a really good stir because now I've got it on the side there Isn't it amazing how you meet people? I've, I've started a Facebook group just thinking, you know, it'd be a good place for artists like myself to get together, share experiences, support each other. And it's just grown. It's, uh, we've got about nearly 4,000 um, cobalt, so I can use the same one that I used before. We've got about 4,000 followers there now, 4,000 members, and a lot of them are quiet. They don't uh, engage in a lot of things, but quite a lot of them um, are there every day and post something, post their art, support other people, and um, it's just wonderful. And you get to meet some really, really wonderful people. And some uh, uh, incredible artists and some people just want to be there just to learn and some members um, you know they just want to um, give it a go and learn from other people people and just uh, post something that they've done and just say what do you think how can I how can I improve or is this good or you know it's a great place
and you get to meet um, great people who um, can provide a service like Susan, you know, with her beautiful pigments. And uh, I absolutely welcome that in the group. Um, also, another person called Brad. He supplies, um, he makes his own art boards and these beautiful creations that he's um, just been doing now with, um, with his MDF boards where he, I don't know how he does it, laser cuts them or whatever and just makes these beautiful shapes. Um, so he's part of the group as well. And just a, another Aussie who, you know, is um, able to support people with, with products which are not terribly expensive, they're quite affordable and just great products and local. So I know that um, Sue posts and ships overseas, so um, that's no problem. I'm not sure about Brad though, so I'll post his link as well and, and um, you can contact him directly and see um, whether he does or not, but I know that Susan does. Okay, so mix it in, mixing in this white. Oh my goodness, look at that. I only put a tiny little bit of white in. And look at that. Also another thing I just wanted to, i uh, just digressing a bit, um, with the, the measurements, you know, when it comes in, in grams and um, it, when you open, you know, the, the tub, you can see that sometimes there is a different um, volume in there. So some may be full to the top and some not quite, like this white, you know, because it all depends on the uh, how dense the pigment is in white is quite a dense pigment so it will be heavier so it it looks like there's not it's not a full thing so don't think you've been cheated it just means that you know it's a heavier pigment and so you're getting your 50 grams but you don't need more look at that look how thick and luscious and just yummy that is i wish i could just eat it no i don't um so it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, ready to get started. So, okay, so what I decided to do is I'm going to do a dirty pour. Because sometimes I do dirty pours and I would just like to see how it will pan out. So I've got all my colors ready. So I'm just going to go dump all of that white in. And that's definitely not going to be enough paint. Um, but that's okay because I can always add some more. Get rid of that hair. We don't want that hair there. And then we're going to go in with all of that cobalt blue. And make sure I stick that onto that so I know which is which. And then I'm going to go with... Oh, it's already creating cells in there. This is exciting. Some red, just on the side. All in. Oh, maybe some of this um, turquoise, phthalo turquoise. This is going to be so interesting. And then some of this lovely royal blue, which looks like a purple. Okay, that looks exciting already. Let's put them on the side here and hopefully not 
tumble them over. I've got a tiny little bit of swipe left. See if you can see that. This is when you know it's a good pigment. Because there's no little bits left in the in the bottom. And this is specially made for um, resin. And I am so uncomfortable sitting down because I usually stand when I'm working, but I have to now because I'm looking up into the camera to see what I'm doing. So underneath, you can see I taped it at the bottom. Oh, sorry, try not to tip it. One, two, three. I'm just going to do a, a pour like we do with acrylic pouring. Okay. Just wait a little bit da -da 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 -da, while that's getting down. Oh, it's starting to leak through. Alrighty. Move it that way a bit. Let's go. Wow, that's really amazing. Lots of bubbles. I'm going to sit that one there because I don't want to waste any. And while I'm waiting, I might just waz it with this. Oh, no, I won't. It's not plugged in. Give me a minute. I'll plug it in. I had to plug my phone in because I record using my Samsung phone, which is awesome. Okay, block is now. totally didn't plan to do this but why not sorry if I got quiet because um, I know that's very unusual for me but I'm watching to see what the paint is doing oh my gosh and that is so beautifully glossy just slides through and wow 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 so I've got little cells happening here with that um, uh, white and the, the purple or the royal blue popping up I have leveled my table but I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so I'm, I really want to mix some more of this white. Okay, so to me this looks a bit like an ocean because um, just this part here which looks like waves. So I might just um, tilt it the way I want to be able to work with it. And I'm going to add some more of this white. And I will have to stand up. Oops, sorry. Wow, that looks so awesome already. Well, okay, let's go. Got a wave happening here. Let's go. Because this white's supposed to be really, really cool. Let's see. Yep, wow, look at that. Cells, cells, cells. Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, I'm still recording, yes. So it's moving really, really well. That's what you're looking at, although I don't often move my. Um, my resin, I usually use my hands, but I am just trying out to see how it will work for everybody else. Sorry about all the noise that I'm making. 
I don't like wasting resin. So I'm going to stick this underneath it and if I have to tip any, it's going to go under here. Just to see how this white spreads. Can you see that even? Okay. Let's go. Beautiful. Look at that. It's moving really beautifully. The colors are so vibrant. Okay. Sometimes you need to give it a bit of a hand. Leaking all over the place. Okay, give it a bit of a hand. Oh my gosh, these colors are so gorgeous. I'm just worried now that my painting is not going to do them justice, but I hope so. <laughs> Look in there, it's gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now that we've got that. I've got like a bit of a swoosh happening there. I've got a really something really nice and cool there. So here we go. I'm gonna add some more white. So it's gonna be in like maybe like an aerial view. Oh well, I'm getting cells down here. Ha! Huh. Alright, let's go. Plenty of this white, so I might as well use it. Okay, let's see. I might use my palette knife actually. What do I do with it? Move it that way. Mix a little bit of this phthalo turquoise with our white. Actually, I'll mix it in here. Just to show you how beautifully they mix together. I already know. So that's like a really light, like a turquoise blue now. Okay. I'm going to add that over here. Okay. I'm going to mix a little bit more of this white. Actually, no. I'm going to mix some more red. Sherry red. Just because I like it. So this is going to be quite transparent. Let's see how we go. Hmm. We'll need some more white. Finish it off nicely. Don't need a lot, just a tiny little bit. overlapping colors now this um, 
purple or uh, rather what is it forget again royal blue is very very strong it's quite a strong color so if you're using it with this mix just use it don't use as much here's my white absolutely gorgeous now let's see what we can create here I like to overlap and that's going to be enough for that This is really good. 